Hi everyone, welcome to Interview Pro. We have covered the basic concepts of GitHub Actions and now it's time to dive into more advanced concepts. In any programming language, reusability is key to writing efficient and maintainable code. Let's explore how we can apply this principle to GitHub Actions to enhance our workflows. Let's say we have a set of workflows, each requiring to install Python and Node.js to kick off their CI-CD process. Instead of writing steps to install Python and Node.js in each individual workflow, you can centralize these steps in one common place and reuse them across all your workflows. This is where composite actions come into play. Composite actions in GitHub are a way to group multiple steps into reusable actions, allowing you to simplify workflows by encapsulating commonly used set of steps. Let's see how to use composite actions with examples. This is the workflow that we have created to build Angular application. So there are steps to check out the code, and I have added a step to set up Python. I don't need this in this, but just to give you an example, I have added this. Let's say you have Python scripts and you need uh, to install Python to run those skip scripts. And Node.js is required to build Angular. Then um, we'll install the dependencies, then we'll build the application, uh, then we'll upload artifacts, and then we'll deploy the code. So. Let's say I have uh, other other uh, workflows which build uh, uh, other uh, languages such as let's say I have a workflow to build React.js. There also I need Node.js and let's say I have Python scripts there as well and I need to install set of Python. So I don't have to repeat these two steps in both the build angular workflow and build react workflow i can put them into a common place and use that uh, here instead of repeating these two steps so i am going to create a composite action so i'll create a new repository i'll call this uh, install python node.js um, action and let me add a readme file. I'm going to keep this repository. Um, let me first keep it uh, private and see what happens. I'll create the repository. Now, when you create a composite action in a separate repository, you have to create a file called action.yml in the root of this repository. So let me add this action.yml. So every composite action has a name. I'll name this install Python and Node.js. Then we use the keyword runs, uh, where we specify the list of steps that this uh, composite action has to run. So you can uh, specify a single step or multiple steps uh, as per your requirement. After runs, you use a keyword using. This is where we specify that this action is a composite action. Then we have uh, steps. Just like uh, steps in a regular workflow, you can specify the steps here, which has a name. Name is optional. You can give it a name or just leave it. Install Python. So let me open um, the build angular workflow in a new tab so that i can copy and paste those steps so let me copy it from here i'll remove this so i have these two steps set up python and set up node.js and that's it we have our composite action ready so let me commit the changes to use this action, let me go to build angular workflow, edit it and remove these steps. Um, I'll remove uh, set up node.js and also set up python. I'll say install python and node.js. 
if it's a normal uh, step we would have used run keyword and specified our uh, uh, script but when you are using an action we know that we use the keyword uses so the same keyword will be used when you are trying to access composite action so because you are using a composite action from another repository you have to give the path starting with the repository owner followed by the repository name and the branch so you can either create a version using uh, tags or you can give the master branch so in my case the default branch is main so i have given at the rate main now let's see if it installs let me commit the change and uh, i have uh, disabled this workflow so let me quickly enable this and run it manually let's see if it works our job failed with the error unable to resolve interview pro org install python node.js action so let's go to the settings and see what options are available uh, under actions we have uh, general so the first thing to do is uh, access accessible from repositories owned by the user interview pro org so let me uh, check this and save and let me try it again so i'm rerunning the job it failed again let's see what's the error unable to resolve not found let's make this repository public so I'll go to the settings again and we have an option called change visibility. I'll change it to public. So I understand make this repository public and reuse this workflow again. Rerunning this workflow should run. Now we see that install Python and Node.js are running. So the composite action cannot be private. Otherwise, the calling action, calling workflow will not be able to recognize it. So um, let's say you have a private repository. You don't want to make the action public. Then um, uh, let me first make this private. So change to private. And make this repository private. Now we have this repository pri private. And if we go to the access that we have provided, it says workflows in other repositories that are owned by the user can access the actions and reusable workflows in this repository. Access is allowed only from private repositories. That means this action can be accessed only from the private repository. That means the calling workflow should also be private. In our case, it is public. So let me go and and uh, change the visibility to private so now both the calling workflow and the uh, composite actions are private so let me go back and run the action build angular app and uh, trigger it manually So now the action uh, started running. So either your uh, calling workflow and uh, composite actions should be private or both of them should be uh, public with the necessary permissions. So this is how you can create a simple composite action in GitHub. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the content, please like, share and subscribe to Interview Pro. Thank you.